Okay, today I'm gonna to show you how to do some alcohol ink tiles. They're gonna come out looking like this. It's really a neat look. Um, it almost looks kind of like stained glass, but these would be really nice uh, to give as a gift as coasters or to simply just add in your kitchen or on a table. Um, adds a lot of color. It's really neat. So, what we're gonna start off with is just your basic tile. Um, these are, uh, come pretty cheap. I got these for 16 cents each. And what I do is I just added some um, alcohol into one of these little containers. It's just your typical rubbing alcohol. And then I put it onto my tile. And then I'm just going to roll it around so it gets on all the pieces. The, the alcohol dries fairly quickly. So you want to start working with it as quick as you can. And then I'm just going to start adding my inks. I'm just going to do different little splotches and then what I do from there is I roll it around. Just kind of get a nice overlay with it. Isn't that pretty? Okay, now I'm going to add some more color and do the same thing. Swirl it around. You'll notice the longer you go, the um, longer it'll take to drip or it's going to start drying. So you want to try to work as quick as you can with it, but you can always add more alcohol as you go if you want. I'm going to add a little purple, although this is already kind of turning a little purple, but just to add a little extra right in there. And then I'm going to add a little yellow just to get some different color effects going. Sometimes when the yellow mixes with the blue, it'll turn green and it makes it look really nice. This is really like easy and it really makes for a unique gift and it's handmade which makes it even better a lot of people appreciate that see around the edges didn't quite get the mixture so I'm going to put a little bit of the alcohol on with the q-tip I'm going to dab it right in there and then I'll just add some more color you can also see when I add the alcohol to the edge it lightens the ink so I'll just go back by with a different, um, you can see right there pretty good. So I'll just add more color to that. And I'm just gonna, since I'm just doing a dab, I'm going to do this with my Q-tip. And this is looking pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. So I'll probably just be done in just a second with this one. And I'll add a little more yellow to that side that needed a little extra. And as you see here, you can see that because it had already started to dry, it's not going to flow like it did earlier. This one actually didn't come out very, um, it didn't come out the way the first ones did with the marble looking or the stained glass look but it came out more marbleish looking until I got towards the end. And if you're not happy with it, if say you don't like the way that it gets darker on these edges, you can take that Q-tip that you used um, to put the alcohol on and you can just kind of wipe it away. And then you can just add more. What I will normally do is just add a little more I'm just going to add a drop of alcohol, and then I'm going to add some more ink. And while that's flowing, just kind of twirl it around again. Just leave that. And if you mess up, all you have to do is you can actually wipe this um, off 
uh, while it's still a little wet and start over. Let that drip down while that's wet. And you can just build on what you've done. So like I can add some more alcohol to kind of get it wet again. Blend that around and then just add some more ink. It's really easy. It's really hard to mess this up. But like I said, if it get, comes out to where you don't like it, just add some more and build on top of it or wipe it off and kind of start over. It's kind of neat looking. And that's how you do it. Uh, you can finish it off uh, like I did with these. I painted the sides black. It gives it a better look. You could also take a, a black Sharpie marker and do it across there. And then I spray painted them. Well, didn't spray paint, but I put a gloss sealer on to protect it from, if you're gonna use it to use drinks to protect it from the condensation that comes off the drinks. Okay, thank you. Hope you like it.